why tenanted apartments are so much cheaper than vacant apartments. I'll explain that to you in this video. So tenanted apartments, as we say, are having a tenant in that apartment. And sometimes you can see online or from other agents, or even from our agents, that there are certain apartments which are, let's say, 100,000 euros. And the other ones, it's the same building, same surface, same address, everything's the same, are worth 200,000 euros. And you might ask yourself, why is that? What's the difference? Well, the one is tenanted and the other one is vacant. So for a vacant apartment, you can just simply move in yourself or you can rent it out for, if it's a new build for a market price, or if it's not a new build, you can rent it out to the new uh, market price, which is around 10 to 12 euros if it's a regulated market price. If you have a tenanted apartment, usually the tenants are paying the old rent. As we say, uh, we have a long history in Berlin of tenants. More than 70% of Berliners are tenants. So sometimes we have tenants paying three euros, five euros, six euros net per square meter, uh, which is very, very little. And they have very high protection. That means that if you buy that apartment, you cannot simply cancel the lease. You cannot just kick out the tenant of your apartment. That's not possible. Tenants are very protected in Germany. And that is, by history, for the German market, very, very positive. That's a good thing because we have a very fair system in Germany. However, we have a situation where we have a huge shortage of apartments. And as you might have seen from the other videos, the shortage will go even uh, larger in the next few years. So the, the, the gap is widening. So tenanted apartments are meaning that you as a buyer, if you want to live in the apartment, you need a lawyer to cancel the lease with the tenant then you have to claim self-usage. Claiming self-usage is something that will cost you maybe six months, a year, if the tenant goes to court and, you know, uh, contests against the uh, opinion, it might be two years. So there's a certain risk that you have as a buyer if you buy a tenanted apartment, and that means that the seller, if the seller wants to sell the apartment to you, they usually give you a significant discount because you have to wait a year or sometimes even two years. Then the next question is how big is the discount um, if you have a comparable apartment? So the discount between a normal tenanted apartments where the tenant is only protected, let's say for six months up to a year based on his rental contract is maybe 10% up to 20% in average, the discount to the vacant apartment. Um, sometimes even 25% if it's an, a tenant which looks quite different to vacate. Sometimes there are even tenants, or sometimes there are tenants who are even protected for a longer period. Um, this is a different uh, topic, but the period might be four years, five years, up to 10 years. I repeat, up to 10 years, certain tenants are protected against eviction or against claiming self-usage for you as a landlord. Having said that, you always should speak to your agent uh, before you, of course, buy that property. And you can imagine if a tenant is protected for 10 years and is paying very low rent, that that apartment has a huge discount to the market price. We even can see a discount up to 40% or sometimes even 50% discount. And that's a very good investment for you if you have a high taxable income in Germany or maybe wherever you're, you're based uh, in the world and you have a double taxation agreement between Germany and your country, that's a good investment because you can write off the losses you have for that apartment for the next 10 years on your income tax and you can profit after 10 years once the tenant has left the apartment from the, from the value the apartment has because then it will be vacant. So this is a 10-year game plan for you with a huge capital appreciation because you buy for a discount minimum 30% or usually 40, if you're lucky, even 50% discount to today's market. And please remember, today's market already got a drop from last year between 10 to 15% from the peak, which was in the year 2021. So I hope I could answer your questions. If you have further questions to buying, selling, or renting, or leasing your property in Berlin, please feel free to contact us under blacklabel-properties.com.